Now, uh, moving to the question number 20, 38, <coughs> this is from metrology and uh, the limit fits and tolerances. It says a cylindrical pin of 25 diameter and uh, this is 38. So, the diameter of cylindrical pin is given by 25 plus and minus plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 and uh, plus 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So, what I can see is, it is making two dimension, which is 25.02 mm and 25.01 mm, right? right? And the plating thickness, the plating thickness is given to you as plating thickness. It is given to you as 2 plus minus 2 plus 0. 005 and minus 0.005 mm. So that means it is again making two dimensions which is 2.005 and 1.995 mm. Right? So now what we have to do is we have to neglect the gauge tolerance. The diameter of the go ring gauge to inspect the plated pin is we have to find out. Right? Now you must understand that the go ring gauge yes uh, go ring gauge is going to uh, is going to inspect what it is going to inspect that the maximum material condition right so what is the maximum material condition uh, right now it is 25.02 so uh, the shaft cannot be greater than 25.02 although it could be smaller than 25.02 or it could lie within this region 25.02 to 25.01 but it cannot be greater than 25.02 this is what we have to, what we have understood so far. But obviously because of the plating thickness, its diameter is going to increase a little bit. And uh, so, the ring gauge, go ring gauge, right? Go ring gauge is uh, going to be, let me show you on the, with the help of a small diagram. Suppose this is the shaft and this is the plate thickness. or the plating thickness. So this shaft has the maximum dimension of 25.02. I hope that it will be visible to you over here. <coughs> yes, it is. And this plating thickness, this thickness of the plating is, suppose let's say the maximum because we are uh, concerned with the maximum material limit. So it is going to be on this side, firstly on over here, it is going to be 2.005, 2.005 and over here also it is going to be 2.005, 2.005 ml, right, that's it. So, the, you can see that the go ring gauge, go ring gauge, it has the dimension of 25.02 plus 2 into 22 times of 2.005. That's all. So when you will add up everything, you will get 29.0, 29 29.030 ml. That's all. 29.030 ml. Right? So that's all. So this is how you have to solve uh, question number 38.